Hello and welcome back to Fooling, our Let's Play series on Farming Simulator 22. Good morning and welcome to January. Hmm, so the snow didn't stay, which is fine. Uh, it didn't stay last night either, it, it actually stopped snowing almost immediately after I uh, cut the video. Um, however, it's January, it's a new year. And that means we have items to sell. I kept this set up because chances are the chickens will need their food. Um, yeah, because they were just about low before I filled them in the night and then now they need it again. These ones I haven't filled up since the first time, which means they're fine. They're, they're very fine. Uh, all the an other animals are fine. Okay, I'll bring hay to the sheep as well. And the horses could do with some hay. Alright, while we're here... Oh no, we don't have any hay in here. Right, we'll feed the chickens very quickly, the sheep very quickly, and then we'll be back at the farm to start selling product. Whether it's silage, milk, we have lots to sell. Right, we'll see you back at the farm here in a short while. Alright, we are back uh, at the farm. The animals all fed. Uh, now, we're going to take our milk tanker, and... Oh, we've got snow. Oh, wonderful. Right, we'll take the milk tanker, and it should be right here. Let me just get it set up. Ah, oh, beautiful. So we'll fill this up with milk. Fill it right full. Uh, we'll have to fill it, I reckon, two times. Yeah, twice to be fully full. Oh, three times, actually. Uh, two full times. But anyways, the price for milk is very good. We have a beacon of light set. I believe it's the farmer's market um, that we have it set to. I should double check though because I've made that mistake in the past. The supermarket's nearby. The farm market, yeah, the farmer's market's a little bit farther away. 2333. Three, three. Yeah, it's the best price. So it is showing, yeah, showing a very good price. So we will do that. The price for silage uh, is showing it's going to increase from 565 which is still a good price but if it can increase a bit that's fine as well so we will take our milk over to the farmers market get it sold we'll do a couple of trips doing that and should have a decent amount of money uh, once that's all done and then the silage is a whole other thing as well uh, I've also checked the lettuce and as it seems it says February is the best time to sell, although the price right now is showing higher than than it would be in February, so it's all a bit confusing. I might wait, just because we need the trailers for either lettuce or silage, and I know that silage is... Oh, look, someone's built snowmen again in the exact same place as last year. Um, I know that silage is definitely going to be sold this month. Lettuce, I'm not 100% certain. Might be something we do at the beginning of uh, February. Right, so let's see how much money we get from the milk. Ooh, go on. Look at that. It's skyrocketing. Wow, we're going to hit 100 now. Oof. 18,666 uh, pounds from that milk. We're going to do that one more time, plus a little bit extra, like a 1,000 litres, something very, very minuscule, but still worth it. That is amazing. So we should be set with about maybe 40,000 pounds just from the milk alone. Right, very exciting, that. I will uh, stick this on a time lapse. We'll get the other two loads sold. And uh, yeah, <laughs> then we'll be rich. Well, especially once we get the silage sold. Right, enjoy. <laughs>
final load, we got 3,147. So that's approximately 40,000 uh, that we've earned from... Oh, that's our turn. Sorry, I thought that was a field. I've uh, been seeing it in third person. It's kind of a hidden driveway. Uh, right. Sorry, 40,000 40, pounds we've earned uh, from milk as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, we won't really need the milk for anything else until we uh, do purchase the dairy, which is something that will not happen for some time. Uh, I can see it happening. I absolutely want to purchase the dairy, um, but I, it won't happen before grape and cereal production does. So until then, we'll just keep selling it, and we will keep earning more and more as we, uh, as the cows produce, reproduce, produce milk, and then reproduce to produce more milk. Something like that. <laughs> right, so the next thing we need to do is, well, we'll park up the milk tanker. The snow's really coming down now. I wonder if it will stay today. Uh, we shall see. Um, don't really have time to do any snow plowing, though, but we might do. We might do. Right, we will park this up, which is right here anyways. Right, get this nice and neatly parked until the next milk delivery which won't be till probably this time next year anyways. Make sure it's nice and straight in there. Perfect. Right, now let's have a look at the price of... Right, so we have wool, but that's not till April. Uh, we have silage, right, so it's at... Right, that number is still going up. The thing is, if we bring it to the Biogas plant, do we have to own it? I haven't sold anything to the Biogas plant yet. Hmm, the problem with that is that we won't get the money in until tomorrow. But I don't even know if we have to own it or not. What is the Biogas plant? BGA is way up there as well. Well, way up there, it's not that far. But I just, I wonder if that's the best place for it. Hmm, let's have a look. It will untag that. Oops. Oh, I visited it on accident. Uh, I guess we could test it. Give it a try. Uh, but what I wanted to check was the lettuce, because that is confusing me a bit. So it's... Right, so that 3360 is going down. I believe it was 3366 before, so it's going down. These are going up, though. So I might just wait. I'm going to wait till February for that. Uh, the... Silage, though, the prices are fluctuating. I might try and go down. Right, this is what we'll do. We should probably disconnect the Massey, though, because it doesn't have the power that the Deutz has to carry 16,000 litres of silage around. So we'll just tuck this away in here for now. Right, and that is tucked. Perfect. We'll hook up to the trailers here. We'll go and collect 16,000 litres of silage. That's as much as we can do it at a time, which means that... Yeah, it might take a few trips to get it done. But at least we are going to get loads of money from this. Right. We'll fill up trailer number one with silage. So I'll keep probably that 35,000 for cows. Uh, I don't think we'd need more. We'll see. We'll see how many. We'll see how this all goes. Right. We'll get another. It, it will be nice when they sort of fix that where I'm able to actually. Uh, fill things without having to detach every time. Right, this will be a bit of a heavy load. Oh, right, maybe we'll go this way instead. Stay off that back path, especially with the two trailers. Might get... <laughs> could get very badly stuck. Right, well, we'll enjoy this cruise down to the BGA. And, like I say, hopefully we can actually sell it there, because it is for a good price. So, 
I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Right, we shall see you down at the BGA. Alright, we're just arriving now to the BGA. Now I'm not entirely certain where to sell this, so I will tag it again just in case. Right, makes sense. I will actually also wait. You know, I just want to make sure we're on the right side. Probably set that to right side. And right side. Perfect. Uh, I will wait because what I'd like to do is... No, 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 no. I just want to untag this. There we go. Um, silage. Right, it's at 576 and going down. 559. Five, so if we can't sell it here, then we might fast forward time and see if this goes up. But even 560, 559 is fine. But we are here now. Might as well try it out and see if it works. Do we need to own the biogas plant? It would seem we do. Unless I'm just not close enough. Or, well, it's very possible that it, it needs to be dumped in. Like, actually dumped in, dumped in. Oh, it's because we don't have the right one enabled. What is happening? Right, there we are. My goodness. Right, so this should go in. And... Oh, we're getting money directly, immediately. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that is brilliant. Right, so the money is going to just skyrocket through. We should, I'm, I've, I don't know, exact calculations, but boom, look at that. We've got 4,600 litres, uh, sorry, pounds from 16,000 litres. Should get another, another 4,000 or so pounds here. And then we'll just do a few trips back and forth. Right, we'll unload this one as well. Oh, very good. We've got our vine money. We might even have our grape processing plant money as well. Very exciting. Another 4,608. Right, we will uh, head back to the farm. We'll collect another load of silage and then another load and another load until we have lots of money <laughs> right we will uh, make our way back right this is a nice little bridge but we are oh no we can go this way I don't think I've ever crossed this bridge that's beautiful right we'll see you back at the farm all right so we have another full load of silage with the two trailers that we have now maybe I can see why <laughs> why we had three uh, oh it's very tempting I'm very tempted to try and to try and lease a big trailer because this will take after this it's another eight loads ish that I would like to take um, that's a hundred and sixty thousand liters which is a lot a lot a lot it's a lot of silage and a lot of money more importantly uh, however I guess we could just yeah it's a beautiful January day uh, it's a bit snowy but that's fine so you know what let's do a few trips and let's really enjoy the map uh, I will for the most part because it's gonna be back and forth another eight times <coughs> I'll probably <laughs> probably set it into somewhat of a time-lapse a mix of a time lapse and jump cuts just because that could take some time uh, versus leasing a trailer. Although, back on my favorite bridge again. Hello. Oh, beautiful. What a nice view. Uh, right. Have a look in the shop and see trailers. So, this is what we have. We could even oh, lease two more. That would be mental. Uh, no, nah, I think even if we were to lease this, something like this. That's only a thousand. That's not bad at all. I wonder if we should buy this. Huh. It is less though. Twelve thousand. That's more. 
Hmm, very tempting. I reckon if we were to sell both of our trailers, or even one of them, and buy this for grain, keep the other one as a flatbed, could be very beneficial. Although, I would like to consider... Where is... It might be in bale loaders? Yeah, I really like this, uh, but it, it's way too big. It, if we could have something like this, uh, specifically a flatbed, then that would be quite good. But even the uh, the mods that I have, well, this one's all right. I just was thinking more for pallets, you know, for delivering pallets and that. Uh, I know, if I'm not mistaken, so there is this. There is this as well. Uh, we could use this. It would be it would be a lot better with a, uh, what do you call it, a thingy, a hitch, like a, a different kind of hitch, because we don't have a, like a proper lorry or truck or anything. So this is definitely an option, 8,000. I'd like something like this to pop up in the, in the store. You know what, I think we will go for that class trailer. Because even at 17,500, we'll sell one of our trailers, and we could easily, without the extension, Right, and we could probably hook up the other trailer as well, which is what we'll do. Just for now, just to get these loads done. Well, that is very exciting. Or we could go with something like that, so it's more expensive, and it holds more, but we don't have the uh, extension capabilities. So I'm just looking at what the difference here is. So this is like our current trailer, except, yeah, the, the class one for 18. Oh, it's just, we have the option for more. We just don't need it. So I'm trying to think, if we were to do our sorghum again, and we fill this up, that's loads. Right? But we had about, uh, right, see, now I'm kind of torn in between the two, in two minds of what to do. Because this would be a really nice addition to the farm, but so would that. It can hold all the same items. Right. Maybe we will go for this one, actually. It's a little bit more money. About five and a half thousand more. And we can upgrade this. How much is the upgrade? Twenty thousand. Oh, what? It almost doesn't make sense not to. It just, I don't really care for the extension. It doesn't look that nice. Hmm, but the trailer itself is nice. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do that one. We will buy it. Um, let's just buy it right now. Yeah. We'll do that, and we'll keep one of our current trailers. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Check the sh I didn't even check the sales. Oh, there oh, no, that's not. Oh, well, for silage, but no. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, this, though, is very interesting. Oh, we've just spent a bunch of money. Right, 23,000, because we are going to eventually be doing corn, 60, that's a good deal. Right, we're going to buy that as well. Yeah, we're going to buy that as well. I know this is a bit impulsive to buy this, because we will need the header trailer as well. But uh, we will be doing corn, so yeah. It's the perfect size for us as well, for our for our combine. So let's go ahead and buy that as well. Oh, we're just buying so many things now. Well, hang on a minute. I wonder if we can use the, the header trailer we currently have. Hmm. I will try. I will try. Or is that annoying? You should have its own header. Right. I'm being annoying. Let's go. Let's get rid of the silage. And uh, yes, we've just spent a whole bunch of our money. But we will be selling one of these trailers. We'll keep one as a flatbed. And we'll keep one... Um, well, yeah, for now it won't be a flatbed, but got our new class trailer to go and pick up. Right, now I wonder if there's a limit that it'll allow us only so much. I'm probably unnecessarily close for it to work, but anyways, that's doing its thing. Right, and going in. I just want to make absolute certainty that we're at the best place. Right, the price is going down, so we do have to crack on with it. Which the other trailer will help. So I might sell... I'm going to sell the other trailer. 
after we're done, because then that's just one more trailer I can use to get silage down here, and then we'll sell one of them. If the price is okay from selling, then we might sell both and get a dedicated uh, flatbed for eggs, pallet, uh, pretty much any pallet really. Um, but the, this one seems to work just fine. Oh no. They're full up. Oh no. What does that mean for us? What does that mean for us? It means that we either have to wait or bring it to the animal dealer. Maybe we'll just wait. Usually there's a little sign that shows how much is in there. Right. Is that accurate? can't even read it. Is anybody working here? Hello? I have questions. Right. Okay, well, uh, I suppose that's that then. We, uh, let's see. Any goes probably one litre. Oh, a few litres. Right, let's just... Right, we'll take this with us. We'll go do what we need to do. I'll put the time at times 10. I know which... Oh my. Right, there we go. We're on our way. So we will stop by the shop first, grab our new trailer, head back to the farm, collect the silage, and then we can come back down here. I'd rather just sell it the biogas if I can. I know there is another buy place, but we have all of January. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I just I know the price is going down. If it goes below what the other store is uh, offering, then obviously we'll go there. But might as well. Okay, it's not going that fast. Let's go f times thirty. Good for fuel and all that, so we don't need to get that. But now I do need to be very careful. Wow. Oh, we don't need a header trailer. Yes! Glad I didn't buy one. Oh, I forgot that it folds up really nicely. Really, really nicely. Okay. So. Let's disconnect. Oh, no, that's not. There we go. We'll hook up the... The class trailer. I'm so glad that we don't need a header trailer for that thing. But I'm glad we bought it. Very glad. Right, this is a much more appropriate trailer for us. And as long as uh, the... With the extension, it, it can fit in our little nook uh, where we keep our trailers. Then we will be laughing. Okay, so now this is a road train. Uh, to the fullest extent. So we will go back, get some more silage, and we should be able to... Yeah, just before we do that, I want to check, see if it's going down quite a bit. Right, we'll put this down to times 10 again. We'll head back to the farm, we'll load up all of our trailers. Um, right, that look, looks me. The snow has really come down. I think it's going to stay for a bit. Oh, it must be lime on the field. Right, there's frost on the other fields, so that's exciting. Right, this is quite something. Alright, well here we are. We're making our way to back to the the BGA uh, with our road train. It's uh, coming along quite nicely, actually. Uh, if I can... Oop, just check and make sure I didn't take down the road sign. Right, so this is definitely quite the haul. So we're at 28,600 litres. Um, at this point, I can vaguely remember how many we even started with. I believe it was 235,000 litres of silage. Um, I will check in just a moment what we're at. But uh, that is impressive. The Deutz is struggling. Uh, a, a bit of a hill, that's why. But uh, yes, we will... Just to confirm as well, I don't think we'll need all 
all of these trailers. The class trailer we've just purchased because we made a bit of money and got excited. Uh, a bit impulsive, but we've got it. And it is an upgrade, so if we do sell one of these, at least we'll only have paid a smaller amount for it. And then the other one can be reverted back to a flatbed. Okay, so let's get nice and lined up if we can. Uh, you know what I might do to ease this along is I will disconnect from there. Right, sorry, I've got it in like some crazy camera angle. Uh, right, we'll <clears throat> put this first. Might just be a bit easier. Alright. I really expect them to take more than that. Uh, but that is alright. I guess now we don't have a choice but to head back to the, I believe it was the animal dealer. So we got to find that on the map. Right, the price is going up at least. It is only 10, but well that's 10 for every thousand, so it's not too bad. Right, we'll tag that place and we'll head over there instead. Where is it? Right, the opposite side of the map. <laughs> we'll see you there uh, in a minute. And I will bring this down to five times again, just because that is our, uh, yeah, what we're going to be keeping it at. Just to not lose any more of the price. Actually, sorry, 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 just to confirm. Right, it is going up, so let's put it at 10 and keep an eye on it. Uh, but yes, we are, <laughs> we are making our way now all the way to the other side of the small, small map that is fruiling. Right, uh, I've just realised as well, this is... Ep uh, not just realised now, but realised that it's episode 30. That is amazing. Um, very glad that I chose this map as well. Really enjoying it, especially now that we have the uh, the wintry wonderland, the snow coming down, um, and that we're actually selling our our farm goods. Uh, in this case, it's just a a bit of grass that's been left to sit for a bit, but it is a very profitable amount of grass. Right, so we will carry on with this. We'll head all the way down to the animal dealer. When we get down there, we will uh, see how much we make from this silage. Alright, we have arrived. Now, let's get the correct... Right, get that. Should be a... Ah, oh, there we go. I was on the wait, that's why. Right, lovely, lovely silage, dumping it out, switch right over to this one, oh, can we do all of them at once? So that's 6,800 litres, oh wow, we have snow, we've got lots of snow now. Right, it's good to know that we can do these all in one go, um, they will probably sell, yeah, was hoping for a bulk amount, but it's a bit difficult with three <laughs> three trailers, uh, but that was, what was it, about six something thousand for the first, so that's about eleven, another so, yeah, not bad, sixteen, seventeen thousand something from these three trailers, amazing, right, here, yeah, let's get rid of this massive, uh, yeah, untag it, there we go, and we have snow, can play in the snow now. Oh, this might make the uh, commute a bit difficult. Might be sliding around a bit. But we shall see how it goes. Right, we'll head back to the farm, get a, another load full, and then we'll also check how much silage we actually have remaining uh, and how much we should keep for the cows. Right, we have another full load, 28,600 litres of silage. Uh, it's getting a bit slippy, it seems, on the on the snow, um, but it's beautiful. I couldn't have picked a better day to be driving around and enjoying the beautiful, beautiful winter weather we're having. 
I'm very glad it snowed, and I'm very glad I got all my rolling done before it snowed. Hopefully all the animals are doing well. I don't think it's particularly cold. Right, so we're just going to do a bit of a lap here around, loop around. One thing I do wish uh, that I think would be very cool in Farming Simulator in the snow would be to have uh, tyre tracks. Because as you can see right now, there is none uh, appearing behind us, unfortunately, uh, as we crash into things. But yes, that is one thing I think would be very cool. The snow is doesn't hang around for long. Um, we'll check the forecast after all this selling and see if we need to buy a snow plow or not, just to clear a bit of the yard. But we may not need it. We may not. So we shall see. Right, we're just, just about at the animal dealer. We should get a nice, uh, a nice little profit from this as well. Whoa, that's not good. That's the snow for you. But that's my fault. Should have known better. Right. Whew. Drifting around. Do some fruling drifting. Okay. Oh, there's some sort of marks here, it seems. Oh, that's where I was sitting when I... Right. Okay. Silage. Silage. Oh, that's all it's sold. Right. That's my fault. Got out of the trigger too soon. Wait for that first one to empty. So that's 2,500. Plus another 8, uh, just about 9,000. Now we can pull up and we should be able to get rid of the last bit. Right. And that should be another... Well, we'll find out in a second. Oh yes, yeah, so beautiful. Look at the cows at the animal dealer, just hanging out in the snow, having a having a lay in. Right, and from this one we will add on a another forty four hundred. So yeah, approximately fifteen or sixteen thousand from each one of these loads. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Right, now I need to take this quite wide. You know, I do like the, th the, the triple trailer. It's pretty fantastic, not going to lie. Uh, but yes, we head back to the farm. We'll do a couple more trips. Probably keep this time uh, time-lapsed. I will have a quick check, actually, right now, just to see how much silage is left. Right, 100 <laughs> 147,000. Right, let's say we leave even 40,000 for them. That's still 107,000. So we've got another four trips ahead of us at least. We'll throw it on a time lapse. We'll get a bunch of silage sold. And yeah, we should have a bunch more money by the end of it. Right, well, we are back to the farm now, and we have made quite a bit of money. Now, 
Well, let's have a look at... Right, we have some silage remaining. I was checking before just to make certain about it. Right, 61,820. Um, that is loads for the cows. How's their food? Right, so they need about... Was that, that's 23. That's about 35, maybe, give or take. Uh, maybe 30. So to make 30,000 litres of silage, we need... You know what? I think we might have to leave it there. Yeah, just just in case, because it takes about takes about ten thousand to fill them up every time. Oh, you know what? Let's do one more, but we'll just use we'll just use our class trailer. Sixty-one thousand. Yeah, we'll just fill this up. We'll get one more load in. We'll park the other trailers, uh, and then eventually we'll be selling one. But that'll be in the next episode. Right, we can drop this down to five times now. So we can get that closed up and that closed up. We'll do a quick spin around through here, park the trailers. Um, and then yes, like I say, in the next episode we can worry about selling the other trailer if need be. Oh, the snow looks so good. make sure we're in there. That's fine, as long as the trailers are in, that's fine. And we will disconnect at the second one. So we'll head down with just our class trailer, which will be our brand new, well, is our brand new trailer, but will be our main grain trailer. Right, we'll take this down, we'll get one more load of silage sold, and then we are done for the season. And we can start collecting even more silage. Alright, so our last load of silage is going out. Looks really good. Looks really, really good. And we've made another £7,000, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is, however, where we will leave this episode on a snowy January evening. Look at the sunset as well. Absolutely beautiful. Right, thank you so much for watching this action-packed episode, uh, and until next time, take care, and bye for now.